Hi guys, welcome to Kashyap Astro. Today we are going to talk about uh, water found in Mars. Okay, basically this is found near the south pole of Mars. Uh, so it's basically under the ice, beneath the ice, the sheet. Uh, so this discovery was done a couple of years ago. But uh, the follow-up observations was needed and the follow-up observations started using ESA's Mars Express. Uh, this Mars Express carried a radar instrument along with it. Uh, so this radar instrument basically uh, used radio waves. So radio waves just uh, hit the surface of the Mars and they reflect it back. Looking at how they reflect back, uh, we can say what kind of material is present, uh, or what kind of material reflected the radio waves back, like whether it is rock, or water or ice. So this is a very interesting thing. Uh, finding water is one of the main ingredient. Uh, as Elon Musk says, if we are going for Mars, uh, w w water is uh, very much the essential requirement to be there. So looking into the aspects, uh, you know, Ma even though Mars has many challenges and finding water would be one of the great solutions, uh, to especially to growing food and other things uh, if if one if we are going the going to mars then the main things that is needed is uh, one is uh, we need a thicker atmosphere we can uh, do that by very uh, different creative ways um, and also we need to make uh, mars much hotter there is one idea let's see uh, by nasa saying that you have a huge mirror you reflect the sunlight directly to the south pole melt those water and the water starts flowing as rivers and uh, so on uh, you know the water starts flowing uh, so uh, the, the the water that's found is actually salt water and uh, basically what happens here is uh, this salt water is uh, found in a way uh, like the as i told you the radar reflecting back and forth and we are finding out the material all those things but the main reason we are so happy about this discovery is along with a couple of years back discovery there are two more lakes nearby uh, which has been discovered so uh, uh, along with the primary lake you have another couple of lakes which are uh, uh, nearby so the entire area which these uh, lakes are seen is 75,000 kilometers that is almost one-fifth of uh, Germany uh, so <laughs> it's a huge place uh, to find water so that will be a lot, lot of water if you can convert the you know if you can melt those eyes and if you can convert them as water and you use them if we are going to mass that would be one of the major uh, requirement and as I told you one of them was atmosphere another one is uh, to get protected from cosmic uh, radiations uh, we know Earth has a magnetic field which deviates this cosmic high energy cosmic radiations. Otherwise, we get cancer. Human beings can't take radiations. That's why we need uh, Earth's magnetic field protection to do all those things. Because uh, radiation, you know, high dosage of radiation is not good for human beings. Uh, so we have to take care of the. So we have to create artificial magnetic fields around our maybe magnetic fields kind of space suits, uh, which was one of the one of the big uh, expensive public project that was done by NASA. So it, it is one of the uh, ways to solve the issues of uh, cosmic radiations. Uh, you know, um, <laughs> cosmic radiations which are gonna destroy. Uh, human cells so we have to be very very careful about it so that is one of the way to address the issue using the magnetic field suits uh, but this discovery of water is a very exciting thing the reason is it has come at a very important time when we are planning things so uh, because elon musk is the person who is gonna uh, who is in the front line along with jeff bezos i know there is a big race to mass so oh um, we need not go there but uh, talking about race is a different thing and uh, sp talking about space race okay so talking about space race is a different thing but uh, looking at this discovery i think it's a very interesting one and a very important one water is one of the ingredients if you are establishing a base in moon and then moving to mars i think finding water both in mars and moon will be you know win-win situation for humans so 
hopefully uh, we can extract the water in some or the other form uh, because it's in the form of ice and the water is trapped below the ice because there is low pressure in martian atmosphere it can't have water in the atmosphere uh, so that is impossible so uh, and you know, we have a say, saying in our planetary science research that uh, you have to follow water to find life so follow the water you'll find life so even we used to discover uh, we used to define habitability in that way uh, if the you know if sun is here if the planet is too close it's too hot if the planet is too far away it's too cold the earth is having the right distance so it can have water so water does not uh, means life because the water that, that is found in mars even though mars is in the edge of the habitable zone and it is very uh, it is colder it is colder than earth uh the problem we have is even in antarctica there we we haven't we have seen places where there is no life no not even microbial activities uh, which are very cold places so it could be uh, no you can't just say there is water there is life so we as always paul sagan says extraordinary claims requires extraordinary evidences see you in the next video if you like this kind of videos kindly do subscribe thank you